Symphony Diaz. Yeah. No way, Jason. Uh... We met at the Wranglers hockey game. You were with Brad, your boyfriend, right? Yeah. How do I know Symphony Diaz? I don't. But thanks to Facebook and Foursquare, Crime Watch Daily has uncovered intimate details of her life, a realization that quickly freaks her out. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm Jason Matera with Crime Watch Daily. Hi. And here's the really scary part. As soon as you check in on social media and pinpoint your exact location, you turn into an instant target for cyber stalkers. That was creepy. I'm like shaking right now. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. We set up stings in Las Vegas and New York City. And over the course of two days, watch for people checking in on social media at both of the Buca de Beppo restaurants. They're showing their family members right here. Tim Ryan, a former FBI agent and cybersecurity expert, then went to work probing their private information. It took him no time to find out Symphony likely lives alone in an apartment and watches TV by herself at night. Does that freak you out? It freaks me out a lot, like that's not... That's not something I like. It gets worse. Angela, Angela Alfiona? Yes. You worked at when? I did. Jason, you remember me? No, but I worked with so many people over there. I wonder if Angela's son, who's away at college, knows as much about his mom's past as I do. Does uh, Forrest know what you used to do? Uh, yeah, Forrest wants to get into IT. Does Forrest know about your time? My time? As a stripper? Or as applying a... for a stripper? I don't Does remember you know applying about that for a stripper. No? What profile? You have any uh, tattoos besides the one on your chest and your hip? No. Just those two? Uh-huh. Did you ever work as a stripper? No. No? Then what's no. the stripper profile for? What What stripper profile? That's what I'm talking about. You don't know the stripper profile? No. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> News to I, me. I, look, I got it right here, too. Right here. Oh, yeah. Somebody stole my <laughs> That's an old picture. Yeah. I was 30 in that picture. That's were, seven years ago. You were 30? So did you ever get the stripper job? I didn't do a stripper job. So they just, what, uploaded this? Somebody stole that. That's, yeah. What's this for? Is there any way you can email me this? Waitress! So somebody took your pictures from the internet. They had to. Posted it, it on, a, yeah. a, on a strip club job site. And they even knew about the tattoos you have. They, heck, I even knew that Forrest was your son going to Central Oregon that Community is so College. Scary. What site is that? Jason Matera with... Crime Watch Daily. Oh, nice to and meet you. And you've just been cyber stalked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, apparently I've been caught. The fact that we were able to do that so effortlessly, will it make you reconsider what you tag as public information on Facebook? Yes, actually. It, you have no idea the changes that are about to occur as soon as I leave here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And here's a shocking stat. 87% of all cyber stalkings target college age women like Molly. Molly. Yes? Jason, we met Springfield. She's a young actress from Oklahoma, low-hanging fruit for a digital deviant. Are you nervous being at home alone while Dan is gone? I mean, you know, it's, uh, are these all, I, yeah, no, I'm okay. I'm okay with that thing. You curious how I know all of this about you? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm Jason Matera. Okay. Crime Watch Daily. Okay. And you've been cyberstalked. Luckily for Molly, Tim Ryan has some helpful tips to avoid a stalker's trap. What you saw Jason do right there, that's exactly what a stalker is going to do. Mm -hmm. So I know you're an actress, you have to be on social media, right. but you probably don't want to tell everybody everything. Mm -hmm. So creating little groups, creating lists of people that can see stuff and other people that can't, that's pretty important. Right? You don't want that guy, the creepy guy who lives across the street or downstairs right. to know when Dan's gone and mm -hmm. you're home alone for a period of time. With three million cases of cyber stalking reported every year, it's important to know how to limit your exposure, especially if you're one of those who likes to bear their souls on the web. Jason, Jason, share the same dentist, Dr. Pope. Oh. With a quick glance at David's social media pages, Tim and I uncovered rants about his ex-wife and other posts of a highly personal nature. Are you concerned with putting? a lot of private information out there to the public that uh, someone with bad motives can use that against you in any way? No, you know, 
I'm a very spiritual guy and I feel like God will protect me. For those without a celestial firewall, there's Tim Ryan. Here's the problem. About $70 million a year is stolen by criminals in a thing called romance fraud. Mm. So the criminals, usually from overseas, are looking for people who've experienced loss, and you've experienced some pretty significant loss. The problem is they're not going to appear as Jason. They're going to come at you as a girl, they're going to come at you as an attractive woman, and then they're going to ask you to do things for them. What do you think no, about I, that? I dude? know, that's true. I have a weakness for women. Tim's takeaways to cut your exposure to cyber stalking? Remember that the internet never forgets. What you post today will live on forever. Use privacy filters to restrict information to your closest friends and family. Avoid disclosing your location. The world doesn't need to know your home is empty. Finally, be cautious about sharing your vulnerabilities. Because the next time a stranger comes up to you, Alexander? He might not be from Crime Watch Daily. <laughs>